he's done a nice job uh, just progressing his skill level from day one here. I'm not content with you know staying the same, whether it's you know shooting threes or my post game, just, just anything to, to help me get better at the play and help my teammates win. He went from um, non-recruited Division One player to one of the better mid-major Division One players out there. He's played with way more patience in the post, which is uh, just a great shine. He's got just great poise and he's very methodical. I'm not, you know, just trying to rush into things. I'm trying to take it slow and really be poised and be patient. I think that's the biggest thing, aside from scoring and all that, but just really reading the defense and, and picking my spots. Being a, you know, a smaller guy, I can't use my height, of course. I got to use other aspects of my game. You can play the three, you can play the four, you can play the five. Uh, try to just get him in mismatches. His versatility, his ability to overpower you inside, but really outskill you on the perimeter. There's different aspects of your game that you can now use once they bite on that three-point shot. So that's, that, that opens up my game and uh, the core for others as well. Well, his leadership sometimes is more uh, of example a quiet determination. He just has a way of, with his eye contact and his laser focus, everybody else sort of follows him. For the team, you know, it's, a, it's, it's the last go around for the sixth core senior, so definitely it's to win and to make it to that elusive uh, tournament. Uh, the thing I want to see is just him letting loose. If he misses two shots in a row, go shoot the next 10. We don't really, we just want, Play with reckless abandon. If he does that, we'll be in great shape.